Hi, Kevin with Water Monster here. And in this video, I wanna show you how to install our new adjustable float valve kit. It's real easy, so let's get started. Your float valve kit comes with a float ball, an adjustable stainless steel linkage, and a float valve with a rubber gasket. Taking a closer look at the float valve, you'll notice that there's an adjustable arm that controls the water flow, which comes out from this tube here. It also has a built-in check valve and also a built-in filter. And before you install it inside the water monster tank, you're gonna insert this rubber gasket. Out of the box, the float valve is set to fill the water monster tank at about 80%. If you wanna increase or decrease the levels, simply loosen the fasteners and by pulling the stainless steel cord about 12 inches, that'll set it to fill about halfway, or you can lengthen it to, to achieve 100% capacity. Before installing the float valve, turn the water monster tank on its side. Position the tank so that the smaller three quarter inch black bulkhead fitting is at the bottom. This is where we're gonna install the float valve. When installing the float valve, put the rubber gasket on first and then simply spin the float valve until it's flush. Hold the cable up, it makes it a lot easier. And you want the water outlet to be positioned facing the bottom of the tank as you continue to screw it down. That's very important. Set the tank upright, connect your food grade hose, and turn the water on to begin the filling process. Okay, now the water's filling, and as the water level gets higher and higher, the ball will rise and eventually it will pull and shut off the water flow. And again, as I mentioned, you can adjust that ball height to change the water level of this tank. After 20 minutes, the float ball has done its job. It's pulled the float valve arm to stop the water flow. Now as participants drink water and the water level drops, the float valve will open up and give you continuous refills. Well, I hope this instructional video was helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, just call me directly. Thanks.